What's going on guys? My name is Spencer with HM Massage and today I want to talk about a really common myth when it comes to cutting, when it comes to getting leaner. And that is that you should be lifting higher reps with less weight. Because summertime is coming up, everybody wants to get leaner, everyone wants to have that beach bod. So I thought I'd come at you with this topic in order to help. So like you heard me say, it is a myth that you should be lifting higher reps less weight. And here's why you should be doing the opposite, and that's lifting in the 8 to 10 rep range, focusing on keeping your strength and muscle, and working on progressive overload, or basically increasing the resistance during the weight training. The idea of lifting higher reps with light weight is trying to push the idea of a lot of volume and it simply means that you are doing a lot more the idea obviously comes that you're going to be doing more so it's going to burn more calories and this isn't wrong where the problem lies in doing high reps low weight comes from the fact of how it's burning those calories doing a lot of these higher reps is a lot more of a cardiovascular workout and while that is shredding your body fat you're also losing some muscle along with it. And that is the biggest thing we want to avoid. Muscle takes a really long time to grow. We're talking about your gains here, the sacred gains that everybody wants. You can shred away all of your body fat within several months, but it takes years and years to build up a lot of muscle. And that is the thing that we want to protect the most. This is why doing high weights with lower reps is going to be far better for trying to get lean during the summer. Not only are you still pushing yourself just as hard, because although we're not doing as much density in our lifts, we're lifting heavier weight, increasing the resistance, which recruits more muscle fibers. But you're also maintaining strength, which means you're maintaining muscle. And muscle on its own, meaning your body at rest, the more muscle you have, the more calories you're gonna burn throughout the day. This means doing that high rep workout, you burn more calories during the workout and shortly after, but during the high weight exercises, you may be burning a bit less calories during the actual workout, but throughout the day, your body's gonna consume more calories because it needs to use more in order to maintain your muscle. And I should mention that this is talking about doing all of your workouts, higher rep, lower weight. It is okay to throw in some higher rep workouts every now and again, especially for muscle confusion, but make sure to stay away from solely doing higher reps. And through this process, your body should still be eliminating enough calories through the day in order to drop weight and be decreasing your body fat. And then if you still feel like with a proper nutrition and lifting heavy, you're not burning enough calories or you're not dropping enough weight, it's great to throw in a little bit of cardio in there. Your body is very much use it or lose it when it comes to muscle, especially when you're in a calorie deficit. And so as long as you have done your strength training already, your body will know that it needs to maintain that muscle. And so the cardio workout afterwards will mostly shred away all the fat. This is all of course if your nutrition is in line. There's no way that you can outwork out an entire cake. Unfortunately. So that is my tip for you guys, just a very common myth I wanted to help bust, and that is absolutely throw in strength training and trying to maintain your maximum strength when on a cut. That is the best way to get lean, get shredded, and still maintain the body composition you want. Basically, more muscle, less fat. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Check out the channel for more massage and health related content overall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you next time.